Life Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. So, in Sabrina's makeover, I told you guys I did something a little crazy revolving around Sabrina. Your guys' hints were music and coffee, and I literally said, whoever gets this right is like a genius, a mind reader at that. <laughs> I said, whoever gets it right, I will give you a shout out. Everybody got it right. Uh-huh, right, uh-huh, right, uh-huh. Every single person, literally every single person got it right. So, yeah, uh, not exactly a big surprise. <laughs> but it's still really cute and I really love it. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little tour. In case you don't get what I'm throwing here, pretty much, Sabrina is going to be opening up a record music slash coffee house. <laughs> It doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> so far, it's just called the Java House. Because if I was to ever have a coffee house, I wouldn't call it like a coffee house. I would call it a Java House. But uh, here is the outside. It's pretty fugly right now. But um, I'm already going to have to kind of loan, quote unquote, loan us some money to get this. But here it is so far. I mean... It's so hot, I know. But on the outside, I put down these really cute little like reindeer, deer, sort of antler cheers, cheers. <laughs> and a cool little coffee sign and a little thing in the corner saying, hey, we have music too, please come in, please. We need tips. And then when we head inside, it's so pretty at night. I wish I could show it to you guys at night, um, but you guys will eventually see it. It's all lit up and pretty in here, but because it's cut open like this, Unfortunately, the lights don't turn on or something. I don't know, something stupid. Um, as you guys can see, it's very, very casual right now. Very, very Sabrina. I didn't want to make it too like Windenburg or too girly or anything like that. I just made it very Sabrina. So as you guys can see, we have a DJ booth here, a beaten up guitar in the corner that I'm gonna smash myself with later. Uh, and then we have coffee equals liquid optimism right here and right here. Um, a nice little sitting area with some books and some coffee and some pretty flowers. And then we have all of the records and vinyl players and such uh, against this wall that we're going to be selling. They're kind of scattered around the place. Like over here we have some too. And then here is obviously where you can get your cup of joe and your food right here and then I have a nice little bar as well I was originally this right here was going to be takeout but uh, you know dine out comes out in like less than a week so this will be perfect to mess around uh, with as well and then if we head upstairs uh, obviously we have oh well we're missing a wall but we have two potties and then this is going to be Sabrina's kind of secluded work area. Like if she wants to come in here and relax, it'll be like a break room, sort of. You know what I mean? Uh, where the employees can come and just chill out for a little bit. But yeah, guys, what I unfortunately have to do because I'm like broke, <laughs> we're going to have to cheat. <laughs> in a way, we're cheating. I mean, put it this way, okay? I hate cheating. I hate, hate, hate cheating in my gameplay. It's like literally the... I, I would rather rip my hair out. However, I figured this isn't really going to benefit our home life all too much. We're going to have to work for our money anyways. I was looking into loan mods and everything, but there's a new update that came out today, which I am going to um, be covering later this evening. Maybe. I might even include it in this video. I'm not sure yet. But um, yes, I just figured it wouldn't really benefit our house or anything. Um, we'll still have to work for our money, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. The lot is worth 37,000 simoleons, so I believe it's that much. Yes, I think so. But we're going to go ahead and buy a retail store in Windenburg. I went ahead and replaced the library with this. The Java Hut. Yes, we're going to have literally no money. 215 simoleons. Fine by me. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and mess around with retail a little bit. I never really got into retail all that much. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see. 
nope, I don't want to transfer any money, please. And also, I figured that uh, Valentina could come here and sell some of her paintings as well. So it can kind of be like a sister corporation in a way. But leave some name suggestions down below because obviously I want it to be cute. So maybe include like the York last name um, or Sabrina's name or just something cute. Really, any ideas are, are welcome. So let's go ahead and start this. We can manage our employees, employee uniforms, sell this store, uh, view finances, open it, open it, open it. All right, let's see. Um, we're just gonna set some stuff for sale. All right. All of the records around the store, of course, since it is a record store. The record player is up here, which we should turn one on, right? Oh, well, I'd have to do that. I'd have to make one not for sale. Okay, this one won't be for sale. And we'll turn it on and put on... I really want to pin on... Put I want to turn on Winter Holiday. Because I'm a freak. <laughs> I'm burning fall candles right now. Uh, I'm actually, like, a freaking loser when it comes to candles. If my room doesn't smell like christmas or something i get really upset oh yeah and we have some vinyls right here like you can get your cup of coffee and also pick up a vinyl right there and it has cute like really really cute little mugs around the store look at this one so cute what else do i have i have this one which is a little bit more classy and then i have a little real akuma right here so cute but okay we're gonna have miss sabrina come in here and let's open the store right um, how do I open? You cannot open this business because there are insufficient funds to cover its expenses. Really? <laughs> well, let me go ahead and give, um, give us about another thousand simoleons. Just as like, um, I guess some money to open the freaking store. That is so sad, actually. The fact that I didn't have money to even open it. But okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and take our household funds to the current store and I will transfer about 500. Let's go ahead and open it. And we are open for business. Unfortunately, I feel like the retail aspect of the whole game is a little flawed, I'm not gonna lie. I wish it was easier and just more like open for business, but eh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe over time they'll improve it. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have Valentina go ahead and head here and Paulo as well. Um, oh, oh yeah, I gave, I gave, uh, Valentina a couple of new outfits as well. I filmed it, but, you know, I'll just show it to you guys now. Okay, cool. So she's going to work here as well. Paulo can keep his job. <laughs> he goes in in five hours. He already completed his daily task. So honestly, he can just kind of chill with his girl, which is quite nice. So they're not. Uh, well, I kind of want to try for a baby, guys. Guys, guys, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I really, really want to try for another baby. Like, I don't want Leo to get too old and everything because then it would just be kind of like, what? So... I don't know. I kind of like want them to have another baby. Um, you know, I want them to have at least two kids together. You know what I mean? So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them do it. But I don't think there's a bush here. <sighs> okay, well we'll do that at the end of the part. They're gonna try for a baby at the end. But let's get this business rolling. Everybody's in here. Cool. Up. Oh. buddy <laughs> get out <laughs> um let's see i don't think anybody's like actually looking for <laughs> business great customer okay yeah i'm gonna have valentina kind of help around the store camden camden hi honey hun also there was a new update that came out today i really want to go into it a little bit more because it's it's a pretty cool one i can't lie um however i don't know I feel like I don't have time to talk about it right now. All I'm going to say is there's some really, 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 really cool new creative sim features. 
and also some new lighting so maybe you guys will see the lighting later this evening somebody please buy something and played through the work day because it was pretty tedious it was pretty long but we sold five items and made about 1874 simoleons however um i didn't really up the prices of or really like put tax or anything on the items that we were selling so i don't know if we made too much profit really when it comes down to it but now you guys can see the uh the record store at night here it is see how freaking lit up it is yeah it's pretty 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 darn bright but look all of our like record players sold we had some albums over here or some records sold as well They're, the girls are in a pretty horrible mood uh but definitely the next thing that we're gonna rank in here is some paintings because you know i think we can we can do pretty well with that but uh what we're gonna do is i'm going to have valentina come over here and uh we're going to set the the store prices uh it's currently a 25 percent markup so yeah we are making profit um i don't want to make it necessarily pricey since we're still new so we're gonna keep it at normal we'll keep it at normal since it is a markup um so we did make some profit i guess but i love that you can purchase advertising how cute is that oh my gosh um you know what while we're here we're going to purchase i mean our, i i would say we did pretty well for just opening selling five items in one day i would say that's pretty good but i think we're going to go ahead and do a uh Hmm. We're going to do a short web campaign. Yeah. Valentina just launched an ad campaign. Web advertising provides a quick initial rush of customers, but trails off by the end of the campaign. TV advertising provides a consistent increase in customers for its duration. While it won't reach the same high as web advertising, it won't drop off either. So yeah, I guess the different advertising things actually have different perks of them okay well she, she's ready to go home she's ready to go home but um yeah guys i think oh why is my sign not on <laughs> excuse me oh you know what yeah we'll turn it off when the the shop is closed that makes sense can i turn off the big sign oh i guess i guess there isn't a big sign <laughs> never mind it's currently only 7 29 p.m in the game so it's still quite early i think we're going to go ahead and head over to grandma's for dinner because i did move yolanda out into her own little house so we're gonna go ahead and skip on over to yolanda where she will serve her daughters and her grandbaby some food so we'll see you guys there Alrighty, guys so here we are at grandma yolanda's house i went ahead and really quickly just decorated it and stuff i'll share it with you guys so as you can see she's living quite luxurious <laughs> except for the toilet in her bedroom but you know when you get older things like that tend to happen but i'll share with you guys uh just really quickly what i did here is leo's room he has his own room in grandma's house because she just loves him all that much um a toiletless bathroom lovely but that bath though oh boy i would i would probably literally soak myself in there to the point where i would disintegrate like i would just be a prune that was disgusting in there and i would love every second of it uh, here is her living room. We can go ahead and light a fire in there. And here is her kitchen currently. She has Mila uh, cooking up some food for us to eat. Here is the backyard. It has a hot tub. A nice freaking glamorous um, dollhouse. And then where we're going to be eating tonight. So yeah, we are just going to, uh, I guess, have some dinner. Oh my gosh. Move. Okay, go go use the toilet. Yolanda, go use the freaking toilet. My goodness. And go ahead and light um, light the fire and light this candle. Or we'll pose. This is very awkward. <laughs> um, um, you two stop it now. Guys, what's up with my Sims and freaking incest? Okay, see, this one's nice. Okay, okay. It's like a mommy-daughter shoot. I don't mind. Okay, this one too. This isn't bad. It's quite cute, actually. I'm, I'm screen capping these. Oh, oh. 
I mean, this one. Oh. All right, this. Oh. But oh, here's Mila in the kitchen getting to work. What did she make? We have spinach frittata or whatever that is, frittata. Or, I don't know. But I'm so excited, you guys, to get all of the new foods that comes out. That comes with dine out. I saw wine, so I'm hoping that like my Sims can actually have a glass of sparkling cider or something super cute like that. Like the aesthetics would so be there. Please, everybody, eat outside. No, get up, get up. No, everybody eat outside, please. Get up. Bring your plate outside. Okay, you know what? Let me make this easier for everybody before I freaking put you all in a room to die because I seriously will. Get out here and eat. Oh my God, here we go again. Here we go again. It's a photo opportunity. All right, ladies. Anyways. Everybody eat the freaking meal! I just paid so much money! Eat your food! Thank you, my goodness! Wow! And freaking Valentina, per usual, is being difficult! My goodness! But here they all are, just having... Okay, I can't have anything nice. <laughs> but they're just going to have a nice little dinner together. Thank you, Valentina, but she had to be difficult. What are you eating? Pasta primavera. So she, she just had to wait for the other food and just waste our time. Right. Okay. Well, waste his time 2016. <laughs> that hashtag was so funny. I can't even lie <laughs> because I'm such a troll at heart. I really am. You guys, you don't even understand. In, the, in my trunk of my car, I have a gorilla suit, a megaphone, and two fedoras. That only screams for disasters to happen, and they do. I carry around the megaphone with me just in case, like, somebody tries to get slick in traffic. I have a megaphone to scream back, and it is so useful. But, yeah, guys, this part was very casual. We opened up the business. I definitely need name suggestions down below. I'm so excited for Dine Out. You have no idea. I'm so, so, so excited. But this part was chill. I liked it. It was very, very um, serene in a way. Except for the fact that I was literally sweating bullets while working. But now you guys just, you know, got to um, get the gist of what's going on. But yeah, I think the business is a really good idea. It's a great way for us to get some income going. Um, also another great way for the sisters to kind of be like a power duo, you know what I mean? Which I really, really like. Um, and the path that Valentina's going career-wise, she kind of just doesn't want to work. She wants to stay at home. So in a way, like her painting and everything can incorporate really well with Sabrina's business. So I like it. I like it so far. But yeah, I need to go get some coffee because I'm like half dead right now, but I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> I will see you all next time. I love you guys. And don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.